18. Personal computer. In the early 1960s, the only computers in existence were mainframe computers, as large as refrigerators, or even taking up entire rooms, and to which only a small elite had access. In 1962, Roberto Olivetti had the idea of creating a computer that was much more affordable economically, that could be used by more people, and whose size was more or less the size of a typewriter. An absolutely extravagant idea for how ambitious it was. Thus, a small team of five people set to work to create each of the elements that would make up this new artifact. They shrunk the memory module. They invented something small and handy for data storage, the programmable magnetic card. So that the user could handle it easily, they created a simple programming language that was explained in a small instruction book. Finally, its design, elegant, ergonomic, and focused on the user, which was not a problem for a company like Olivetti, where design was so important. Thus, in April 1964, Program 101, the first personal computer ever built, was born, not without difficulties. Olivetti began to have serious financial problems. The Program 101 team was nearly fired, and in the end, General Electric bought Olivetti's electronics arm. To prevent the new invention from falling into the hands of the Americans, it was categorized as a simple calculator, and as such, it appeared at the Universal Exhibition in New York in 1964. The reception by the public and the press was fantastic. This gave way to the mass production of this prototype. Its price was around $3,200, which would be equivalent to about $20,000 today, which, although it may sound excessive, was a bargain compared to the price of the great computers of the time. Even NASA acquired a dozen of them to do the calculations for the Apollo 11 moon landing.